All right, hey everybody, welcome to Home Studies with Sadie and Coco. Every time I turn the camera around, they start barking. So today is day two of the cleanup, and Bob is actually here today, so I'm actually going, and Bob is actually here today, so I'm going to see if he will either put the string back in the weed whacker for me or weed whack the cobblestone fence, and then we'll see about moving that other bed and putting it over here somewhere. Either way, just come along with us and day two of our garden revamping. All right, so I'm actually going to move all the dirt from this bed here and move it over to that empty bed over there in the corner. And what I wanna do is move this bed over here and I wanna get the cobblestone path cleared because I'm thinking I might even like maybe angle the beds along the way. I'm not really sure, kind of like a pie shape maybe. But there they are in the beds again. First thing I need to do is get all the dirt out of this bed. So I'm gonna work on that real quick. breaks on me so I'm just gonna wait for Bob to get the grass one or the gas one and let him do it meanwhile I'm gonna measure out how much space I have so I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna measure how big this box is and then I want to kind of make one again 24 inches apart so the lawnmower will go in and then make it curve along the path and about the same size as that one so I'm going to try to disassemble that one I got most of the dirt out of it and see what I can do. Okay, so this bed is about 34 inches. Oops. Thirty-four by seventy-seven. Coco, come here. So 
So the lawnmower is about 24 feet. So about here's where my bed will start. Strawberry bed ain't going anywhere. So Shape? Yeah, like a which one? Like a weird looking pie. But I'm not sure. I mean that's the only way it's gonna fit nicely. Hmm. It's gonna fit along the walkway. I could do it like that. I was thinking metal, but just to make use of the materials we already have for another year or two, I could bring it together like that and like that. And hold it all together like that. What do you think about that? So, probably can make it better. It's very ununiformed. I want to keep it wide enough so I can get a lawnmower down through there. Which, this is two feet. 
That's two feet because you said the one was two feet, right? All right I actually right. measured it again the other day and I'm hoping that's right. Because that's 24 inches, this is actually 25 inches, and that's plenty of room to fix. Right. But you're going to have to weed whack in there anyhow because of the sewer. Yeah, right. But I was thinking maybe a piece of metal, like here, to make it more rounded instead of that. Do we have any like leftover metal from the chicken coop? No. I'd have to get a sheet of that and a pair of cutters. Or no. I mean, I could do it like this. Did you have one more? All right, and this, this one's probably gonna have to be cut, this board. There's barbed wire on the bottom now. Oh, fancy? Mm-hmm. I got it kind of octangular. I don't know, but it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with dirt. You gonna help me, Coco? Got a ton of extra twigs and branches. So I'm going to do the Hugo cultures thing, whatever how it's called. I put all these branches and twigs at the bottom and then fill it up with dirt. So hopefully that'll give me a better compost. In the meantime, the chickens are going to check it out. <laughs> that keep on producing some not so ripe. I did have a few ripe ones on here. This one. Holy crap, homie's on there. Yeah. Oh. But it's not getting ripe. Cold before they have time to get right. All right, so that's all we have time for today. 
um, next time you see us in uh, the next few videos, we're actually going to be in Florida helping my aunt with her farm or her helping my aunt on her homestead. She has llamas and donkeys and some goats, I think. But we're going to go down there and build her a chicken coop. So stay tuned for that video. Um, this is it for the garden for right now. It's getting ready to get cold and we've done about as much revamping as we can do at the moment until maybe February or, or March when the weather starts warming back up or the spring, whatever. So anyway, I'm going to close out this video. Make sure you hit subscribe.